Hey there folks, Andrea Cox here with AndreaCox.com and TheHealthyHaven.net. I am so grateful that you're here with me today at my little, little kitchen table, the round table. This is where we get really raw at the round table. My cameraman thought of that and I thought it was cute. I wanted to do a quick video on something that I put out there before, but I wanted to redo the video for you because the first one was shot on my phone. It's on mercury poisoning or mercury toxicity. And when I first shot this video a couple months ago, it was for a friend of mine that lived back in Ohio that she still has mercury fillings in her mouth. And I was trying to explain to her the importance of getting those removed. So mercury does terrible things in the body. It can cause you to go crazy. It can call it, blo it blocks you on a cellular level. It's very, very hard to remain healthy when you have any type of mercury poisoning in your body at all. Now, if you've ever had a metal filling, chances are if you've not chelated metals out of your body, you have mercury toxicity. If you've been in a place where a light bulb's broke or a thermometer's broke and you've just kind of left it for a while, mercury toxicity. If you've eaten a lot of fish like tuna, the highest fish in mercury, if you've eaten a lot of that over the years, mercury toxicity. There's several ways to get it. This to me is the worst of all the heavy metals. Okay, I've been told that, but also why do I know? Because I dealt with this and chelated heavy metals out of my body for two years. So let's talk about how we chelate. We chelate with things like vitamin C in high doses, glutathione, you can also get IVs if you have the money to, colon hydrotherapy, you know, we always wanna detox through the colon. Sweating is imperative. But the first thing you have to do is you have to get rid of the cause. So if you have metal fillings in your mouth, get them removed and make sure you go to someone, a dentist that is familiar with Hal Huggins. He was an all natural dentist for years and has written several books on mercury toxicity. He's why most dentists are now changing over to different types of fillings that are non-metal. So you wanna get those removed, make sure they use a dental dam. That's number one. Uh, make sure you look up online the low mercury fish. It's things like sardines and mackerel, the smaller fish and also salmon, but certain fish are high. We're talking halibut, uh, certain types of cod, and especially tuna. So those are high in mercury. And you wanna just detox through the skin, through sweating. So. First thing to do, get rid of the heavy metals. I was dating someone who I spotted a mercury filling in his mouth from a mile away. I was like, is that a metal filling? And he got it out. So I can pinpoint metal fillings on anyone, usually with just them talking, the way their face is shaped, etc. Pretty good, huh? Uh, so get them out, number one. Watch the high mercury fish, number two. And then detox through sweating and skin brushing, colon hydrotherapy, high amounts of glutathione, vitamin C, things of that nature. AndreaCox.com, just trying to help you out. Get rid of those heavy metals. If you like this video, hit the like button and definitely subscribe. I teach you about things that are not good for you. Be well.